so I'm here in Paris. I'm on my stereotypical uh, privileged trip of finding myself. And while doing that, I also was hacking on Google Cloud. More specifically, I was hacking the Google Cloud load balancer. What is the Google Cloud load balancer? It's like any other load balancer. It receives a bunch of requests that your application is receiving from all of the users and it balances it out to all of the backends that you have. But the Google Cloud load balancer has one extra feature. If you buy the premium network package, then when a user tries to connect to your load balancer's IP address, it's going to hit the Google server that's closest to them. Google has a few gigantic data centers, but for this to work, they need to have multiple smaller ones in every city out there where they want to serve traffic. A small server like this is called a POP, which is short for point of presence. These POPs at Google are running a service called the GFE, which is again short for Google front end. These GFEs are serving Google production traffic, but also they terminate the HTTPS or HTTP connections if you make a global load balancer like the one I'm talking about. So I decided to figure out where these pops are here in Paris and visit them in the real world from the outside, of course. Now, thankfully, this uh, Ford scripted vlogging, uh, vlogging section is over. <laughs> Let's see the video. So I made an HTTP load balancer and a virtual machine in Belgium. So here on the map is my virtual machine and I'm here in Paris and I turned on cloud CDN and the load balancer itself should, should terminate the HTTP connection at the first Google frontend, which is at a Google cloud pop location here in Paris. And it's actually very funny because uh, I can kind of see the two data centers if I'm, I might I might not be correct but uh, look so here is my load balancer and if I send it a request with with uh, busting the cache and here are the logs for my web server if I send it once send it twice I will get two requests and after that there will be two different caches uh, on cloud CDN uh, each of them with a different age so now they cached it both right around the same time so why two uh, my <laughs> my kind of answer for this is that if you look at the uh, Google peering dedicated interconnect locations where there are Google point of presences uh, if you go to Paris there is there is free and um, if you open up Empyrean DB and look at the networks they are connected to, it's it's quite obvious that I am, if I do a dig to the to the load balancer, I am on an orange network, and this network is like after the sixth hop, it's actually turning into Google. So there is direct uh, kind of connection. This is this is an orange IP, and this is Google. So there is direct connection between orange and Google. And there are three pops in uh, in Paris. Uh, it looks like. And if I look at the three of them, this one doesn't have orange as a network. This one, and this one has uh, has both orange and Google as a network. So I think the, these are the two locations. And actually, I can even show them on the map. So here on the map, this one is global switch. And this one is Interxion Par 7. So these are the two locations where there is a Google pop, it looks like. And I'm pretty confident, and this is so cool, I'm pretty confident that when I am hitting the load balancer here, uh, and it's getting two requests, it's because of that uh, my, my request is going to either here, and it gets cached in this data center or goes here and gets cached in this data center and then my request is like going one request here one request there and once they both cache it they return the response from from the respective places it's, it's if this is true then it's insanely cool to see this in in real life okay so here's the plan uh today i'm Today I'm planning to, to run to the Interaction R7 data center. This is actually 
one of the data centers that I showed you. I mean, <laughs> one of the data centers that I showed you yesterday on Google Maps, and this is where a cloud CDN server is running and serving the traffic from my from my load balancer, or like caching the caching the data. It's yeah. Let's go there in real life. <laughs> my mind off you pack my things up and move and get a tattoo I think I'm gonna get a few and I can't stop looking at my phone screen waiting for it to ring it's making me insane so here I am this is the interaction part seven and here is where my where the, the Google Cloud pops and the GFEs are, are running and that means that if I make a load balancer it's going to terminate the HTTP connection right here in this building like if it comes if it can get routed to here and it will from this building reach out to my internal VPC network and and uh, contact my VM and cache the results right here uh, by Cloud CDN if you if you enable it on the load balancer at least that's what I think And the funny thing about data centers is that they are like very quiet uh, when you are here and it's very boring actually but there is so much data going through it just like in one second like I probably my Google Maps traffic while I was running here was going through this data center or the other one uh, but <laughs> the point is that there is like just standing here there is insane amounts of communications happening Been tossing, turning, I can't sleep. Just come right back home to me. I've been counting all the days till I get some. Gotta stop the begging, oh please. Gotta get up off my money. Well, I'm trying to move. This huge building behind me is the is the Global Switch data center. As you can see it here. It's the Global Switch Prairies East, and it's huge. It's it's f***ing huge. It's uh, it's really big. at this shot look at how huge this building is so this was the second location we were hitting from my research when I was hitting my cloud load balancer here in Paris and this location also has some other big players uh, besides Google Cloud there is also an Apple uh, network here and then Akamai, Akamai, Akamai network here for the CDNs as well so this is a big one this is way bigger than the interaction one uh, I visited the last time. You know, wish I could tell you more uh, interesting facts, but I don't know any of them. I am, I am a big noob. <laughs> I am just like wandering around and looking at the cloud, because that's what it is. 